Okay, um, I got a new question for you, and it's and it's about Sala. But what does his impending departure mean for the 49ers? What's the significance massive, of it? Massive. Massive. Let massive, if I didn't say that enough. Okay. Um, look at it this way. Look at it this way. Those four things that we just talked about that a head coach really needs. Kyle Shanahan is not good at the three that we already talked about in week one, week two, week three. Yes. Okay. Spotting players, executive decision making. What was the and other one? In, and in game play. In game man, he's terrific in at motivating. His his guys are always up to play, no matter who. So, yeah. Yes, but one thing smart. that we did have was was the players were playing hard. Yes. However, that's not him either. Yeah, it's a lot of Salah. It's a lot so, of Salah. So, so I'm I'm very concerned for the 49ers uh, next year. Yes. In, in in that perspective, and the and the other big one is um, the other big one. Um, Grant, I, I loved your thing on on the 36 errors because the executive decision making is is really the big thing. It's paramount. It's paramount. It's paramount. You need to be a good decision maker. And that's um, the job. And, you can delegate uh, everything else, but you have to make the decisions. Yes, and and the, the thing is, <laughs> I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something funny. I, I'm watching the games on Sunday, and I'm there, you know, enjoying the game, doing all this sort of stuff. You know, uh, I watched a couple of games at the same time and all that. And and I, I look at Grant on Twitter, and he's carrying on about video games. Is that right? What are you talking about? And I'm like, and I'm like, you bludger. Do, do you use that word bludger in? No, in, no. Uh, slack ass, slack ass, lazy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So uh, any, anyway, but but it reminded me of something. And and you were talking about Mortal Kombat. You said you like Mortal Kombat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was a quote from this movie, Billy Madison. That's one of my favorite movies from when I was a kid. It's an Adam Sandler movie. He has it. He goes back to school and he's in like fourth grade again, and he's thirty five, and he's trying to have a an argument with a kid. And the kid just says he's stupid. But anyway, Mortal Kombat, yeah. They, yeah, you have a yeah. yeah. Well, I well, I'll tell you something funny. Um, um, very very early on um, in my career in management, um, I, I just happened to be the youngest executive. So so the owner of the company, and and this was uh, they, they had a, they had amusement arcades all over Australia, and and what happened? We we'd get a sample coming from Japan of a particular game, of the latest game that they just created. And at that time, it was Mortal Kombat, like 1992 or something, right? With the so, blood. Yeah, yeah. So, so something like that. So so we got we get the first sample. And, and guess whose job it was? So my job was basically playing video games, and, and I got That's paid cool. a lot for it at the time I remember. That's cool. But playing video games, so so technically, it's funny that you mentioned Mortal Kombat because I probably could have been the very first person in Australia to actually play that game. I, I played it for like two weeks straight because what a I had great to game. That game yeah. was great. My experience with Mortal Kombat was being four, five, six, real young, and just pressing as many buttons as I could at the at, at once and losing. I would always lose. So that game was kind of a little frustrating. I want to ask you one more question, and we got to talk about Jimmy G. This might take a while. So sorry that that that, that point. It, it, I had a point on that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I had a point on that. So so basically, my job was to not not just to play video games. I had to play the game, and and then I had to make a, a really high stakes decision is as to is it good as to as to what quantity we were bringing into the country, and we're talking big dollars, right? And um. Uh, luckily, I made a good call on that on that Mortal Kombat game, and the company made made heaps from it. Um, but but here's the thing: I, 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 it, it's it's back to that principle that you were talking about. Sorry, the the one before where you were talking about um, analyzing and decision making. Yes, and you have it or you don't have it. Right, the now, psychological uh, management study that I was referencing. Yes. Now now. Now, I, I just had that at 25, 27. I just had that because m my brain just thinks mathematically, thinks logistically, you know. So and and that is the problem for Kyle. 
you can't learn this. Yes, that's the problem. That's the whole thing. It is who he you, is. No, he can't you learn will, it. You will never have that because your brain doesn't operate that way. So, yeah. so just quickly, here, here's the way I see Kyle's mind working. Yeah. He's an attention to detail person. Yes. Okay, there, yes. there's another thing if you want to read up on it. it it's got to do with big picture. People are, people are either big picture or attention to detail. You're right. He's attention to and, detail. And, and, and somewhere in between, obviously, but there are extremes, right? Yes. And, and for example, I, I'm a big picture person, like to the extreme, yeah. right? I'm always sitting back looking at the big picture. Whereas Kyle, I believe, is totally on the other side, attention to detail, which yes. is fantastic skill yeah. to have for a coordinator. For design, for, for a coordinator. And O's. It's perfect. It's, it's exactly perfect. what you need. Because like, instead of having this guy block them, why don't we have this guy block them and make this little tweak over here? And it's, it's exactly what you need. It's exactly, exactly. what you need. So make, does that all make sense? I think it's brilliant. He's lost in the details. You know what? I think I kind of relate to that. I think I'm much more of an attention to detail person than a big picture person. I think I can to I think I would be a horrible head coach, a horrible head coach. But I think I'd be a pretty good coordinator if I had a little more experience. I think I could do yeah, that. I yeah, I don't know about that. I, I get the I get the vibe that you've got you've got some pluses in both in both sides. I can That's see the players. I can take my ego out of it and honestly assess the players even if yes. like if i like the guy and he stinks i can say it but yeah. in terms of making executive decisions i don't know man i mean look at it i'm sitting yeah. in my bedroom right now is that a good executive decision I don't know. <laughs>